Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about one of the many features Canva has made available for free to its users and that is speed painting which can turn your image into a hand-drawn video in just a few minutes. So let me show you what speed painting in Canva is all about. And here we are on the Canva homepage, and I will assume you already have a Canva account set up. So all we want to do here is create a blank video. Just click on the video and it will create a canvas for you in a GIF. And there we go, we got our video canvas set up. Next on the left side of the screen, scroll down to the bottom and click on apps. Then once the search box comes up, there it is, type in speed and you should uh, click on speed paint and then click on the speed paint icon and uh, now we are in the speedpainting.co's app. They, uh, they created this app and made it available for free to Canva users. So in this first example, I'll go with a bike here. And once that is uploaded, let's go down and take a look at the options. You have, uh, let's see, first one you have is frame rate, 3060, 120. Then we can look uh, at changing the sketch duration. Um, you also have color fill duration. a few other options as well but let's get started right away and see what happens with the default settings so right now I'm going to have the app create the image it takes a few minutes and I'll be right back when it's done okay so we are back it has rendered the image and uh, it's pretty cool, right? So let's just uh, format it in the space. I'm going to enlarge it. And as you can see, it's got a play button because it is a video. And let's just go ahead and run it. And let's see what it created. So as you can see, it starts drawing the outline of the bike from basically scratch. And there we have it. Pretty cool, right? Now this is in black and white, so let's give it some color and make it a little more exciting. So I'm going to delete it and go back down to that color fill duration and let's select five seconds of color and let's rerun it and see what happens. And again, I'll be back in a few minutes once this is finished rendering. Okay, our color version is done. So again, I'm gonna expand the video out a little bit to make it easier for you guys to see. It is now completely done with processing. And again, it's just as simple as clicking on play and let's see how that came out. You can see it's doing its magic just like it did before. It's black and white. And now we are going to fill in the bike colors And there we have it. That's even better. Really good. Very similar to our original uh, photo. And as you can see down here, you can adjust the size of the video. I think right now it's uh, 16 seconds, but we can uh, move that as we see fit, chop it up, and it's very customizable. So that's our bike. Let's try another picture and let's uh, go with the eagle and set this up. And this time I'm going to also add in a hand and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go down to the bottom and we're going to just add in the sketching hand effect and I'll be right back. And I'm back with our eagle and you can see that is done rendering. There it is. 
Uh, again, this time we added the hand, which you are now going to see. So I'm going to enlarge this and show you what the hand does. So that just makes this uh, process a little more lifelike with the hand. It uh, makes it, uh, I think it makes it look a lot better. And again, it's just going to sketch it out. And it does a really great job with this eagle, as you can see. So again, yeah, that hand effect is really cool, and I think that's the best setting to use. So let's delete this and try one last uh, one last example. I'm going to use this uh, AI generated woman. We're going to change the frame rate to 120. I'm going to make it a little longer and make the color production uh, a little longer as well. So we've got 10 seconds and 15 seconds. I'm going to add in the fade out and see what happens. And there we are, we're back from our rendering process. Okay, we're sized up. Let's hit play and see what this looks like. Again, Speed Paint is free on the Canva app and I think uh, free on the speedpainting.co's website. You can see this is great for drawing friends and family. Just upload their photo and this will draw their features out and you can see it is rendering it's a little longer than the ones before because we added those extra timings just a few minor touch-ups and we are done there's our finished product looks great and you just completed speed painting 101 congrats and now if you want to share it with the world it's very easy to do Click on the share button and you can post this on social media or even download it to your local hard drive for further customization. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video and please drop a like if you found this video helpful and make sure to subscribe for more AI content.